Hello beer tubers and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppets. Today, looking at a beer that I got from Omnipoyo. Uh, they sent me a care package not too long ago, so thanks to Omnipoyo for the beer, with uh, some new releases and uh, some variants of some on some classics, aka Aeon. You'll see what I've gotten if you follow me on Instagram, so go check me out on Instagram. Uh, this is not just an Omnipoyo beer, this is a collaboration beer between Omnipoyo and OO Brewing, two breweries from Sweden that I really enjoy. Uh, they make some great beers, and both of them like to make, you know, very nice modern beers. Omnipoy are doing a bit more crazy stuff, uh, but they also have a thing for traditional stuff, which is awesome. So this is the OO Brewing and Omnipoyo Lucy. It's a bit hard to get the can right here in the light because uh, it's the silver or whatever, but it's like a tooth that says Lucy. Uh, but this is a Hennes Lager, and this one I've had quite a few times, and when... They sent me the package, I was quite happy that this was also in here because then I got to do a proper review because I don't think this was released in Denmark. They've had it on the web shop. By the way, it's from Omnipoyo's web shop, which is also Omnipoyo's, but they, they're the ones who sent this package with the beers. Um, but the cool thing is that they didn't only send Lucy, we also got this, the Omnipoyo ceramic mug for Pilsners. <laughs> they, I think this premiered at the Mickler Beer Festival, Mickler Beer Celebration Copenhagen last year. Because uh, I remember they passed them out to the brewers and everyone was walking around like brewers drinking out of these. And they premiered Lucy there for the first time. And I've had it a few times. I've had it on draft and I've had it from Gravity Board, from Keg, uh, from Wooden Kegs, Holzfass, as you do traditionally in Germany. Just quick thoughts on Hillis Lager. It's a lager from, you know, quite probably in southern Germany, Bavaria, uh, Franconia, Baden-Württemberg, this area. It's not as well hopped as like Pilsner's. They have a more light... Uh, hop profile, more malt accentuated. They're usually quite full bodied, and the alcohol is like around five. But it's been called it's been called many things down there. It's also called Landbier, Spezialbier, Export. Not to be confused with Dortmunder, which is a slightly stronger lager. But actually, there's a lot of similarities to both Dortmunder and Helles. Helles usually is a little bit lower in ABV, and it used to be like the the beer that everyone would drink in G southern Germany before Pilsners got really popular. Uh, it's Gotten more popular over the years. But some of the really fresh, really well-brewed Helles lagers are great. And uh, I even saw that both OO and Omnipoyo, and they also Stieberis, got to go to Frankenfest, which is a huge like beer festival celebrating classic Franconian beer. And it was fun to see Omnipoyo pouring their <laughs> crazy, uh, you know, soft serve ice cream beers in this mug. I, I saw they brought this, uh, like Hinnock brought that. Um, but you know, this will be fun to try. I've, I've had it, as I said, a few times, but not out of the can, so let's see how it is. First of all, I got it poured in this MBCC glass just to show you guys the color because I wanted to drink it out of the proper glass. Uh, also because it's just like a post-work beer. I just got home from work. This is just a beer that suits that situation perfectly. But because we got to dissect a bit as a reviewer, here we got it in the glass. So a very light golden yellow color. I bet it's probably 100% Pilsner malt or something. Um, I think... Ole from OO talked about one of them he used. It's a specific variant from Weimann. I forget the name of it, uh, but I guess that's it. And usually it's like Halatau or Tetnang or something like they use for hops in here. I don't know the exact hop combo on this, uh, but Ole really likes his lagers and brew lagers a lot. So, or try to as, as lot as he can, you know, IPA is what sells, but it's very nice. It looks like very light golden color and it's got like a nice kind of white head, but uh, well, let's just smell it. No, let's drink it out of the proper glass now that we have it. So, as I said, I've had it a few times, but let's check it out from the can. Oh, yeah. It smells like classic Hellas. And it's funny because the ratings online on this are not that great. And that's one of the things that's... that's like the last few few years, of pretty much just the, like the last year, year and a half, I've really started to get more into well-brewed lotteries. And online, they don't get great ratings because it's just lager. But the well-brewed examples really deserve as much praise as other classic beers, like your you know, classic British uh, stouts and porters and whatnot from Samuel Smith's or Fuller's classic English strong ales and like classic German Weissbeers and double bucks. But, but the lagers, for some reason, often don't get too much love. Uh, some people try to you know spread the word, like I do myself, and some people really like them. And, you kind of see the people getting more into them, which I think is good uh, because not everything should just be pastry town craziness. I love stuff like this once in a while, especially like today after work. Um, but it's yeah, it's more of a simple style. It's very nice. 
Uh, where did I want to go with this? Just saying I should we should rep lagers more. But uh, let's check out the aroma again here. So it smells like a classic Hellas. The hop profile is super low. There's a little bit of sulfur note. If you don't know what that is, it's a natural process of fermentation, especially with lagers. It's like a slight eggy note. And it's super subtle, which is how it's supposed to be in a lager, because most of it should have been pushed out from the fermentation tank during fermentation with the Spundapparat, as it's called in German, like the little airlock. But yeah, it's grassy, it's biscuity, it's bready, very like, very biscuity actually, and also a little bit floral. Like it has, and what I love about this bowl is like you smell actually, like a lot of people don't think of it, but you also get like lager yeast esters. Like lagers have like a bright yeast ester that's quite unique. It's mixed with the sulfur notes that's also from the yeast. You get this bright, kind of like fruity, generic bright fruit character. It's very hard to specifically de define. I'm also even giving that a little bit of a honey malt character, or just like, just it's all about super subtle nuances, which is great, but let's give it a taste. Cheers or prost, and thanks a ton to Omnipoyo's web shop for the beer. Seriously, stop, guys, <coughs> that is 100% dead on style-wise. This is exactly what you want a Hillis to taste like. Mm. This is not going to last very long. I think we might have a case of me finishing this by, by the end of the review. Wow. That's really good. This takes me back to sitting down in Southern Germany, Bamberg, why not, drinking very well brewed Hedders Lager. This is pretty much on par exactly with some of the great examples down there. I think one of the reasons why a beer like this doesn't get as much praise online, at least on rating sites, is because it is also an Omnipoyo beer and people expect, you know, like, when they try Omnipoyo. And it's nice to see, like, they've been doing all this pastry stuff, but they also go back to tradition and did this in, in Cola Blue. But yeah. Same flavors on the uh, on the on the flavor, same profile <laughs> as on the nose. Nice medium high carbonation, very soft, quite velvet mouthfeel, very good mouthfeel as well for a five percent beer. Super grassy, super floral, very doughy and bready. It's got like crackery, fresh bready Pilsner malt flavor. This is like this is a month old or so. A little more than a month old, so super fresh, which is how you want to drink beers like this, like these lagers. Um, floral, doyle, brain ass, maybe like an almost slightly soapy character. It's got that sulfuric note. It's super, super light, and it's odd because the sulfuric note, which is often considered an off flavor, just in this subtle amount pairs well with the other flavors that you get from uh, the base beer, from the, from the lager, uh, which is interesting. And then it has that, like, that bright ester quality, like a bright, generic, light fruit ester from uh, from the yeast. I'm really starting to dig this style and these lagers so much, especially when they're well brewed. When I was in Gothenburg looking for beers to try, I went to the lager aisle to look for craft lagers. And I actually all, almost thought about buying a bottle of Yeva to review as well, just to show you guys a classic North German well hopped Pilsner, but I think we can get it here as so I didn't. But yeah, this is great. This is great lager. Um, I really think more people should try and get their eyes open for great lager beers. I think that one of the best I still have had in recent times is the Sintner uh, Lager Beer. That's also like a Helles type thing or Kela Beer. It's a bit more hoppy than a Helles, which is usually Kela Beer is like unfiltered and more well hopped. But the thing is like Helles can also be unfiltered if you go to Southern Germany. But the thing with that is like it's usually not as well hopped as a Kela Beer. So yeah, I'm gonna go straight 90. I think this is a great lager. I. I, I got a little bit of a flag on the Sentinel for giving it a straight 90. People are like, oh, it's too low if you think there's a world-class lager. To be honest, yeah, it should definitely have gotten higher grade looking at it in hindsight. But, um, especially after finishing the bottle. But I think this is great. If, if I could get this locally, I'd have this all the time. This is just a great headless. This is just as good as some of the great examples from Germany. So, yeah, I mean, this is, this is great stuff. So, yeah, straight 90, guys. Hmm. And if you ask if you think it's world class or just such a great, even a green apple character, which could be some aldehydes, but even if you give a straight 90, why wouldn't you go higher? Well, I always create subjectively. So it's really hard to like say 100, like this, I say this is on par with st style, but I grade what to pref I prefer. I really like something like this. And it's a, as I said, like I'm really trying to promote lagers. They're really good, but there's just other styles I prefer a bit more. I'd rate higher.
Um, but the subtlety and nuances of flavors, and also that being said, it's not like the best Thales you can get. There's also other nice examples from down in Germany, but it's great stuff. I've been rambling for 10 minutes about lagers. Holy crap. Hopefully you guys bear with this long review, but we just gotta rep the lager train. I mean, even Mickler is now opening a, like a German style lager bar in Copenhagen. Just think about that because of his contact. He can just get fresh kegs of awesome lagers from Germany, like Dr. Box and all these kind of beers and, and like Hitters and Pilsners, one of them, maybe probably also like some Gravity Port stuff. I'm really looking forward to seeing when that will open. But yeah, great stuff guys. Straight 90 for the OO Brewing and Omnipoyo Lucy. This is a great beer. I think they're doing this a few times now. I've, I've done it a few times. I'm not sure if it's a year round release or what it is now, but by now I'm, I'm pretty sure it's sticking around because it's great and I've seen on Instagram that this seems like they brew it often. So if you guys had a chance to try this bad boy, let me know what you thought of it. Do you have a favorite lager style? Let me know. Mine is probably cannot be. I really enjoy those, especially when they're super fresh. And uh, yeah, as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And thanks a ton to Omnipoyo for the beer. And I will say cheers. And see you guys in another beer review. And I finished it. Good. <laughs>